Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So I am in a new location uh, because it is late and I needed to get the best lighting and this is where I could find it and if there's an echo, I'm sorry. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup. This makeup look is going to be really easy with stuff that you can get anywhere such as the dollar store, Walmart, and stuff at home. So all you're going to need is some face paint. You can find that anywhere. I also got um, liquid latex. I just got this from Walmart and it was $3. They also have a big bottle which is $10 but you only need a little one so you guys can go pick this up at Walmart. You're also going to need some toilet paper. Also you can have it at home and some basic utensils. Um, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a voiceover. And I'll see you guys when I finish. So to begin, I just started off by washing any of the makeup that I already had on my face. So this is just the makeup that I wore earlier on to school. And then I also went in and I used a primer just so that I didn't have everything directly on my skin. This is optional, but I recommend it. Going into the makeup, I'm just taking a plain white face paint. Again, you can get these from really anywhere. And I'm putting this all over my face and neck, wherever my skin is going to be showing. And I'm making it so that I'm pale. I'm not going to be literally white white, but like a pale skin tone. I also went in with a black face paint and I did a little, little tiny bit just so that I can make it look like I have black eye and so that my eyes look sunken in and I look dead and tired. So for the face paint and the eyes, you saw I used a sponge, but it's better sometimes to use your fingers just to blend it out and just to get it perfectly. Again, you don't need any like major expensive utensils. You can use your hands and easy products such as cheap sponges at the dollar store or even the packs that the um, face paint comes with. Alright, now moving on to the actual FX effect. We're going to be doing a slit neck. I also do one on my head, but I go more in depth on my neck. So the main important thing is to take this toilet paper and rip it in half how I'm doing here. This is going to act as the skin as well as the liquid latex. To get the effect of tearing skin, you're going to have to do a couple of layers. So I'm going to start out with the liquid latex and add a layer of that. And then I'm going to go in with half of the toilet paper because you're going to want it thin. I'm going to add a little piece of that on top of the liquid latex. Then I'm going to add another coat of liquid latex. And then another coat of toilet paper. And lastly, another coat of liquid latex. Just to remind you that this does not have to be perfect and neat because in the end we're going to end up tearing it and you're going to add more makeup to make it look like more of your skin tone so don't worry about it being neat and pretty. So for this next step you don't want it to be completely dry but mostly dry and I took a broken paper clip. You guys could use tweezers it would have been smarter for me to do that but I didn't have any. And then I just use that to make the slit across my neck. And just to remind you guys that the little layer thing is going to act as the skin. So you want it to look a little bit messy and raggly. So we are going to be changing the color of it so you don't have to worry about that. Now is when we're going to go in and change the color of our fake skin. As you can see... I started off not using the right color and it didn't really match my skin tone that much but I eventually got it by mixing different colored face paints. You guys can use your color foundation, different eyeshadows, whatever is easiest for you but I wanted to use face paint just so that I can show you guys how easy this is with products you can really get from anywhere. Now we're going to jump into the actual cut. So you can go in with eyeshadow as well as face paint, which I'm going to be using. I started out with the red face paint to make the inside skin as well as like blood. Um, and I went in with red and I just put that everywhere. And then in a little bit you're going to see that I go in with black just to make some depth. And it looks really real at the end. I am so proud of how this turned out and I can't believe how easy this is. 
So not only am I putting this in the actual cup, but I'm also going to be putting it around it just to make it look more bruised and um, irritated skin and stuff like that. The last part and probably the most satisfying part is doing the blood so you can go in with scab blood. I didn't go in with any scab blood this time, um, but this kind of dries as scab blood if you do like a light coat. Um, and I'm going to make it run down my neck as you guys will see I am doing and that is literally all you have to do to get the effect of a cut. You can also make it circular to make it look like a gunshot wound and yeah it's really easy again you do this with really anything that you can get from any store and then here as you can see I'm going in and making another cut on my head and next once this is finished I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I did my lips So the last thing we are going to have to worry about are our lips. So basically all I did was I took my different face paint. So I took the skin colors, blacks, and reds. And I just made it look like my lips were bruised. So I used darker colors. And I basically did the same process that I used to paint the scars that I made. Um, with the black and red and different skin tones. And then the last final thing I did was I just added blood. I rubbed the blood in to make it look more dried up and scabbed like I ate something as well as also making it drip. And I also added the blood a little bit around my nose so that it looks like I had a nosebleed or that I just got something on my nose. So that is it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. There's many different ways that you can do this by putting the cuts in different areas. I just put mine on my throat and one on my head um, and also made my mouth bloody so that it's like I ate something. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that is it and I'll see you guys next time. It be hard to watch a cat when the van keep dropping. Got to be a Ford on me so my pants keep falling. It be hard to understand because my jaw keep locked. And I ain't even trying to talk because my jaw keep locking. She ain't trying to be a freak, but them bands keep popping. Still caught up in the streets and the feds still knocking. It be hard to understand me, my jaw keep locked. It be hard to understand because my jaw keep locked. Fight down. Fight down. It be hard to understand because my jaw keep locked.